guys, this is Catherine. Welcome to your weekly reading for June 28th to July 5th. We're going to be taking a look into the energies of the mind, body, and spirit, as well as relationships with a closing message from the universe. These are general readings, so they may not resonate with everyone. And I do suggest you take a look at your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs that come out on my channel throughout the week. All right. Um, also, if, if you are looking for a personal reading, you can contact me at oracleintuitions.com or through my Facebook and my Instagram page. Now, if you go to my website, uh, I think I do have a romance reading that is up there. That's a 15 minute video that will get sent to you on a private link through my YouTube channel. I will be adding more to that website as we go. However, most of my readings are actually one hour readings and these are through phone call or video call. So you will talk to me live for a one hour reading and you can check out all the information again on my Facebook page or my Instagram or just contact me there and we can set up a time and date. All right. So this week has been kind of crazy. All right. We've had a lot of intense energies coming through. So I thought it would be a good idea to get some advice from the angels this week. So we are going to be using the uh, Angel Tarot by Radley Valentine, the uh, Archangel Gabriel Oracle, as well as the Romance Angel Oracle by Doreen Virtue. And we're going to be using the Angels of Atlantis by Stuart Pierce. Uh, also, remember to watch our live show on Wednesdays at 6 o'clock p.m. So this is a live show where we do live readings on the channel. And also on, and this is at 6 o'clock p.m. Mountain, if I didn't already say that. But also on Sundays at 2 o'clock p.m., we have live interviews with different spiritual guests. It's a really fun show. Come and join us. Uh, you know, you can interact. You can, you know, ask questions of the guests, all of that. And that's at 2 o'clock p.m. Mountain Time. Have an amazing week, guys. Take care and many blessings. Cancer, welcome to your weekly reading for June 28th to July 5th. We're taking a look into the energies of the mind, body, and spirit, as well as relationships with a closing message from universe. Please remember that these are general readings, so they may not resonate with everyone, but I do suggest you take a look at your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs as well. Also, remember that time in the spirit realm is irrelevant so these may be upcoming energies they may be current energies or they may be a validation from spirit in regards to some sort of past energy so just take them as they resonate with you all right let's see what is coming through for cancers in the mind we have express your inner truth your creative work shines brightest when it reflects your genuine feelings and thoughts. So some of you might be holding back in a way, all right? Or maybe this is a past energy and, and they're basically validating that you were holding yourself back, but you're now expressing your true self. We also have vision board. Create a board with images and words that inspire you. I feel like externally, um, what, uh, actually, we're going to pull one more card. And I, I have a feeling of what is happening here. We're also talking about gratitude. You attract more blessings when you appreciate your current blessings. All right. So what I'm getting here, you know, cancers, is that I'm really feeling what spirit is saying to you with that vision board. Now, that could be a reality you know if you really want to make a vision board by all means you know do so but what i'm getting here is keeping your external circumstances in a place of positivity all right what you're viewing is what you're going to experience so if you're allowing yourself to be in a place of chaos or if you're watching drama in some way this is going to start reflecting within yourself all right, you're going to start feeling more drama. You're going to start feeling more chaos. You're going to, you know, be in that place. When you, we change our perspective and we start looking at things, or maybe this is about releasing people that are creating drama or creating chaos in our lives in some way, shape, or form. This is also what it could be talking about. It's also speaking about having gratitude. Remember that having gratitude. So here's, here's the thing. I feel like when you're looking at your outer circumstances, you may have been or are seeing 
possible that chaos, that drama happening, maybe people, you know, being in a pessimistic place and just bringing you down. All right. What spirit is saying, have gratitude for what it is that you have in your life now. And this might involve having to remove these particular people or mindsets or whatever it is that is drawing in some sort of negativity. Stay in that place of gratitude because doing so is going to start bringing you more blessings. When we talk about how to express your inner truth, it's like look deep inside of you and, and look at the situation and saying, is this being true to me or am I just getting caught up in the drama of something instead of just taking a step back and allowing myself to, to follow my own intuition, to follow my own dreams, to follow my own manifestations, to follow my own thoughts. Am I getting caught up in the drama of whether it's world events or other people or situations that might be happening? What am I doing here? All right, this is what it feels like. It feels like it's time to take that step back and really focus on you rather than whatever situations are going on around you, especially if they're pessimistic or they're not positive or again, you know, drama filled. And remember to have blessings. Remember to have gratitude. Sorry, remember to have gratitude in order to bring in new blessings at this moment. So let's get some clarification and see what is coming through for you. So clarification for cancers. All right. Clarification for cancer. Now we have the chariot. An important achievement, self-discipline and willpower, public recognition. So you might be receiving public recognition, but is it of the positive pub, you know, public recognition? That might be something that you need to think about. Remember the chariot is about moving forward, moving forward from another situation. Sometimes it's about moving forward towards a feeling of happiness, again, towards gratitude and blessing. But remember to have balance in here. It doesn't mean that, you know, we, we never have to be in this place of having anything negative happen to us. But at the same time, there needs to be a balance. And I feel like this all, these two horses might be almost expressing people. Again, you know, being in that place of, bringing some sense of chaos or some sense of unbalance to you and it might be a time to just take a step back and recognize exactly how strong you are listen to your own inner voice instead of what's going on around you we also have the queen of fire confident warm intelligent and graceful stretch your wings and fly don't underestimate yourself assert your independence and creativity it might be a time to be more independent within yourself and again that's taking that step back from individuals that could be creating you know some sort of unbalance within your life i feel like this is the time to recognize how strong you are independently and have confidence within yourself and we have the Ace of Cups, beautiful, beautiful energy, falling in love or the resurgence of a relationship, spiritual growth and enhanced intuition, a new home. So take that as it resonates, you know, for you. But what I'm really getting here is again, when we have that confidence with ourselves, within ourselves, when we release all of this negative behavior, all right, or chaos that others are bringing possibly in, or when we're involving ourselves in things that really truly don't matter to us, all right, or, or really don't involve us, okay, it might be somebody else's drama that they keep bringing to you. When we take that step back and recognize, look at, I, I don't need this. I'm going to stay in a place of gratitude. And you know what the funny thing is, is especially if you're trying to create or move forward in some way, others can bring about this sense of pessimism to us. Oh, that's never going to happen. You know, they, they, it's almost like they want you to stay in this place of being negative with them. All right. And I feel like it's time to recognize that independence within yourself and move forward. This is that or doing so is going to bring about this Ace of Cups energy. Ace of Cups can really also talk about self love. All right. It could be, you know, falling in love with yourself because you're now seeing how strong and independent you are with yourself. It also could be bringing about a relationship in some form that is going to uh, really help you recognize you know, who you are. And it doesn't need to be a romantic relationship, all right? It might be just that relationship with spirit. 
coming through saying, look at, look at how strong you are. Look how beautiful you are. Look what you have to offer. And again, have that gratitude for what you have been given because these are going to bring about new blessings. So let's take a look at relationships and see what's coming through. Remember that relationships do not need to be romantic. They can be friends, family, and co-workers. Just take them as they resonate with you. So relationships for Cancer. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. All right. But remember, this is positive support. You might even, you know how I had that chariot? We had that black and white, those black and white horses. I feel like for some of you, this might be opposing energies. All right. Maybe a more pessimistic friend, maybe a more optimistic friend. Somebody who's trying to help you and move you forward. But you may have that opt or that pessimistic friend that's trying to keep you stalled or in place. And I feel like what this is saying is to take a look at the positive people that are around you, the ones that uplift you, the ones that move you forward, the ones that are excite, uh, excited about a journey ahead for you or something that brings you happiness. We have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So for some of you, when we're talking about relationships, I do feel that for some of you, this could have to do with either you're seeking a career or you could be more focused on your finances and career at this time, or it could be a, you know, a possible partner, especially if they're not coming through at this moment. Maybe there's been a pause within the relationship in some way. Um, and it could be that they're focusing in on their career and finances at this moment. And I feel like, again, y you know, I'm just going to give an example. So let's say there's somebody that you know, you know that they're focusing on their work. They've told you, all right? Or, you know, they've given you that impression. Look, at I'm really focused on my work. This is really important to me. I have to spend my time doing that. There could be for some, and again, this is just an example. Take it as it resonates. But there could be some of you that are listening to a pessimistic friend saying, oh, he's not interested or she's not interested or she's doing this or they're doing that. And it's giving you a negative outlook towards the situation. I feel like it's time to start listening to the positive friends that are bringing you that, that reminder, okay, using your intuition and knowing that at this moment, maybe things aren't moving forward in some sort of relationship because there is this work focus. And, you know, that situation can be reversed. Maybe it's you that's, where, you know, concentrating on finances at this point, whatever it is. But I kind of feel that situation going on at this moment. It's also talking about heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Honestly discuss your feelings with others, especially if this is a relationship that you have to let go of. All right, this could be a friend. I feel like having that heart-to-heart -heart conversation and saying, look, at it's time for me to be around people that are going to be supportive. They're going to be optimistic about my future. They're not bringing me you know, negativity or drama or chaos in some way. It's time for me to move forward. I'm also getting here that for some of you, a heart-to-heart -heart conversation could be coming up for you in regards to a romantic situation. And it could be that somebody is explaining that they are more interested at this moment or the need to be more focused on their finances and career for whatever reason is more important than the relationship at this time. It doesn't mean that they don't care. It doesn't mean that they don't like you or anything else. It's just that they have to have that focus at this moment or maybe they're explaining to you why they have been distant and it, it is because of that career and finances and maybe they're ready to move forward. So let's see what clarification is coming through with these cards. I just feel like for some of you, this heart to heart conversation, it feels like you either had it or it's about to come through. And it, it doesn't feel like a far off energy. This feels like a current energy, all right? Or, or very close to upcoming. All right. It almost feels like a validation from spirit that some sort of heart to heart conversation is on its way. And again, stay out of that negativity, stay out of that pessimistic attitude or, you know, stay away from those that are being pessimistic towards the relationship. All right. Yeah, we have the star. 
yeah, happy times, make positive, optimistic, long-term plans on the right path. So again, I feel like something is coming forward for you within a relationship in some way. That star is about hope, it's about faith, it's about, you know, something is, is basically coming right through. It's, it's, it's that validation from spirit saying, yes, maybe things weren't looking very good, but this heart to heart conversation is coming through that will change everything. Still have faith within this person, still have faith within this relationship, still have faith that a relationship for those that are seeking a relationship is coming through. We also have the two of earth so this is the two of coins too much going on at once the need to make a decision consider a more playful approach all right and again take that as it resonates with you guys but it just feels like maybe this is not the time to juggle things all right it's time to take a rest let your intuition guide you at this moment a lot of times we're not getting the energy that we're wanting from somebody even though we know what is going on with them all right sometimes this can be an element of you know just getting uh, attention right and and ask yourself am i in a place of just seeking attention am i trying to juggle other people am i trying to juggle other energies within this relationship because i'm not receiving attention in some way shape or form again have that heart to heart conversation that conversation might be with yourself could be with others but i feel like things are going to really clear up and again have faith and hope that things are changing because they are we also have the king of air brilliant impartial professional and diplomatic it says speak your mind with confidence seek out professional advice balance mental and emotional considerations so again exactly kind of like that two of earth energy all right where there may be too much going on and it, it's really asking you to stay in that place of following your intuition weighing out the mental uh, decisions that you may have to make especially if your mind is going back and forth like should I wait for this person you know is, is maybe I should just date a whole bunch of others maybe this is happening maybe this is happening it feels like it's time to start following your intuition rather than listening to your mind rather than listening to other people all right especially if they're pessimistic especially if they're bringing a negative connotation to the situation in some way it's time the king of air doesn't put up with any drama okay and and that's really you know what he represents he's in this place where he's impartial he doesn't get involved in you know external activities around him he he stays within himself if something makes sense to him okay i'll listen to that I'll listen to what you have to say, but I'm not going to involve myself in nonsense that doesn't belong to me. And I feel like that is exactly what uh, Spirit is asking you of this time. If you're involving yourself in things that, you know, just aren't necessary at this moment, especially if it's coming from others, it's time to take that step back. So let's get a closing message from the universe and see what's coming through. I'm also, you know, was receiving to be optimistic in regards to your love life or a, re a particular relationship. Remember that relationship doesn't need to be romantic, but time to stay optimistic in regards to it. It's time to move forward. It's time to allow this to happen in some way. Stay positive and have faith and hope that it's all working out the way it's supposed to work out at this moment. All right. Metatron, wisdom, yeah, king of swords energy, right? It's about using your wisdom at this moment, using your intuition. But our intuition is sometimes our wisdom, all right? We don't make um, hasty decisions from our intuition. We don't make, ha I mean, hasty decisions that are bad from us, for us, from our intuition. When we look at it and we, we go into ourselves and we allow the guidance of spirit to show us the path and we listen to our intuition this is where things really come forward i am getting that for some of you as well this has to do with again oops i keep banging on that another person in some way that maybe somebody is not bringing the most positive wisdom to you and your your inner self your higher self knows that the, what they're saying to you is not true and it's time to really listen to that inner wisdom 
and you may have to release them you may have to move forward you may have to have that heart to heart conversation and let them know that this is just not resonating with you and it's time to take a step back in some way so i really hope that this has helped please make sure you click subscribe please click like please share my video and also don't forget to join us on Wednesdays at 6 o'clock p.m. where we do live mini readings as well as on Sundays at 2 o'clock p.m. where we bring on different live spiritual guests. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing week and many blessings.